Hi, it's Faith Prince. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and I'm here to play Roll Call at Broadway.com. They kicked my ass for different reasons. Aggie emotionally kicked my ass because her world was extremely dark. And it's a funny thing when you're playing a role like that. You're living more in that body than you are in your own. This one kicked my ass because it was a 50 pound hoop on my body. And literally I had to take, like on a matinee and evening show, I had to take an hour and a half nap and eat pasta to be able to do this role. And this one physically kicked my ass. I had never danced like that in my life. They put me through three ballet classes a week, three Pilates, and I cussed a lot learning this role. Miss Adelaide is usually the soubrette in Guys and Dolls, meaning you have a leading lady, Sarah Brown, and then Miss Adelaide is a soubrette. Jerry Zachs put in this production Miss Adelaide and Nathan as the final bow, which was a huge change. And because of that, I went from a character role to a leading lady overnight. Miss Hannigan, I loved her because she was not seemingly evil. I think she just honestly, like Annie, had had a hard childhood and really didn't get what she needed. So when she saw this little orphan getting what she needed, it really triggered her. And I'm just justifying her evilness. And then she totally would change when a man would come in a room. So I always love a good role with a push-pull. And Ursula, you know, I always like to understand why somebody is evil, because if you just play evil, it's not exciting. So I understood her. She had been banned to the bottom of the sea. She only had those two eels. They were, they were her family. They were her only contact with the outside world. And frankly, <laughs> sweet, cute, good skaters, a little boring. Scaring children is a lot of fun. And I like to think of myself as a good counselor, a good teacher, a good mother, a good daughter, but I love scaring children. Oh. Hmm. Lorraine was sort of a lost child who kind of found her way with the wrong people. But she did have good lingerie. Thank God this show did not run because I didn't have any knee pads and I got murdered in every scene and would fall to the floor. And they did a huge kick line where I rolled down the stage as all the people were kicking me as I was rolling. And I said to Arthur Lawrence, you know, this show would be a big hit if you would just knock me into the pit. And of course, he didn't and it wasn't. My mother still has not seen this series because of the things I did and said. And this is a case where you're the actor. This is not you. And I did and said some things. To this day, I don't think I've ever seen the second season. Um, but you know something's up when the head of Showtime goes, God bless Faith Prince. It's kind of a perfectly arced role. I like when the character begins as one thing and shifts to the end. I love a change, a shift. It was delicious. And so I wish they'd get their you-know-what together so that it would come in, because I want everybody to see this. This was my first film. This was a huge cult film in the 1980s. I think it's the only time I've had the back of my butt be a place for a license plate that said hot for you. I was sort of the Cindy Lauper of Motown for a second. I'm part of an ensemble, which is probably, honestly, truly my favorite thing to be because let's face it, I got into theater because I belonged in a group, a tribe. I love nothing more than when people really get along and they're all trying to fight for the good of the show. And that's what the show is. I went in for the um, one of the lesbians from next door and James called me and he goes, I want you to be Trina. I was like, really, me? And I'm thinking, Southern Presbyterian, 
Jewish mother. Hmm, interesting. And he was like, just trust me, Faith, just take the job. And I took the job and oh my God, life changing. I saw myself and it in a completely different way. I, I've only done a concert version of it um, with the Orlando Philharmonic and me and Davis Gaines. And um, it's a delicious role and ripe for the picking. Roger Rees, Gerard Depardieu, Richard Kind, Christopher Walken, Mr. Nathan Lane, David Garrison. It's just always amazing when you have interesting, really interesting leading men. And these are some of my favorite unusual leading men. You think you've done it all, and then suddenly um, you're here playing roll call. A little overwhelming. <laughs> wow. Come see Disaster. We're having so much fun, and we want to give you a good time. And let's face it, it the world is a circus right now. You could use a little romp.